All right, so next up we have a stage that in theory should be pretty chill because the team is just so overpowered, but you would imagine they also scaled up the difficulty to account for that. So I'm definitely expecting at least a little bit of a challenge today. So with that said, let's jump into stage 27 for Pure Saiyans. And the team we're gonna bring is actually a Miraculous Awakening team with the double AGL UI Gokus. We got STR Super Saiyan 4 Goku, AGL Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, the End Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta, the uh, LR Blue Boys, and finally the STR UI Goku. So it's actually mostly a reps of Universe 7 team plus the uh, EZA Super Saiyan 4s. The items are the same as always. And with that said, let's jump right into it. And like I said, I'm not gonna get too overconfident because I know that usually when the category is really, you know, good, really strong, the enemies are extra hard. So first rotation, we have the STR UI and also SSBE. Now, obviously it makes more sense to put the STR UI there since he has that 70% chance to dodge but the SSB Vegeta would be more consistent with the damage reduction. So I'm not actually 100% sure what I want to do here. I think I'm going to risk it. But if UI Goku gets supered by Goten, uh, that's going to be a really, really bad time. Okay, okay. I'm going to trust him. I'm going to trust him. It's probably not the best idea, but here we go. All right, so that's gonna be an 18 key super. Um, let's give these to Vegeta, and then we still get a super off with Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Of course, we wanna get the Super Saiyan 4 Goku and the Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta together as uh, soon as we possibly can. Oh my God. Okay, see? <laughs> what did I say, man? He didn't take a super yet. Not yet. It, it might still be coming. But, of course he didn't dodge the Goten normal attack. Thank god he dodged that one though, because that would have killed us. That for sure would have killed us, man. Like that, oh my god, okay. So I definitely have trust issues with um, any dodgers uh, in this game, and specifically the UI Gokus, because they've let me down many, many times in the past. And uh, this first rotation, I gotta say, is, is, is off to a little bit of a rough start. I mean, it's not like terrible. Uh, we definitely can recover, but we took a lot of damage on that turn. Um, I'm not gonna use an item though, because I do trust everybody on this rotation. And uh, we still have the Whis, or rather the Icarus effect active. So 35% damage reduction, we should be good. Um, since they both supered us on the first rotation, it's unlikely we'll get supered again. It's 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 possible. It's still possible. We got two Dodgers. Um, the Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta can also, you know, do some decent tanking. He can also counter super attacks. So, yeah, I'm not too concerned here. There we go. Okay, so that was some pretty good tanking from Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. And if we can take out Trunks, that would be amazing. We're not doing as much damage as uh, I was hoping for. He dead? He's dead. Okay, good. Good, good, good. So next turn, we gotta use something. I'ma say... Uh, actually, we don't have to. We don't really have to use something. Unless UI doesn't dodge, which would really suck. But... I'm going to trust him again. You know what? He didn't let us down the first rotation. And uh, we're going to trust that he dodges again just so I don't have to use two items on the first fight. Uh, there's a dodge. Okay. And there's another one. All right. So he's he's coming through, guys. He's coming through. Attacks that up to over 6 million now. Over 6 mil attack. Can we get a crit? No crit, but SSBE. I think think has enough firepower to kill him off now 
Oh, so close. Come on, one more, one more, one more. Yikes. Ooh, okay. So, we cut it pretty close. That was actually pretty risky. Um, but we'll be fine. That's gonna do it for Goten. And now we can move on to the second fight. I'm definitely gonna have to use an Aider to heal up. And uh, probably something else too. Okay, let's do Aider first. And then on top of that, we'll also pop the Icarus. So we got the damage reduction and the defense. And uh, we're gonna put Vegeta in that first slot. Actually, you know what? Since it's only Gohan, Fizz Gohan attacking, let's put Goku in that first slot. And obviously we'll go for our son here. <laughs> and we'll continue attacking Gohan with Vegeta. And uh, I guess we'll try to kill off Gohan first. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so that was good. 6.2 mil for Super Saiyan 4 Goku. And this guy has a lot of defense, damn. Okay, so we hit for like three mil. That only took out about 25% of his HP. And now he's about a third remaining. Okay, we're countering this super attack. This is very clutch. <laughs> That was clutch, because that would have been bad. Vegeta obviously has great defense, but on this stage, uh, I would imagine they, you know, hit really hard. Actually, we know they hit really hard, so even with the damage reduction, I did not feel great about uh, taking that type disadvantage super from Gotenks. So it's a good thing we didn't take that. Alright, so this turn we still have both item effects, so we don't have to do anything really. Um, let's... I mean, let's let's put UI. Let's leave him there. Uh, let's try to actually. I'm gonna go for Go Tanks with Vegeta, and then we will go back to Gohan with the UI. I think we should be able to kill him though with the HL UI alone. But if not, then SDR UI will. Uh, you know, put that final nail in the coffin for him. Additional. There we go. Wait a second. Did I take my UI Goku out of rotation? And kept the friend? Wait, that that makes no sense. That makes zero sense. Because my UI is max link 100%. The friend is 69%. So I don't know what possessed me to do that. That, that wasn't really a dumb move, but I guess it is what it is. I've been known to make some really dumb decisions in these videos. So if you guys notice me doing anything weird, um, that's just how it is, you know? <laughs> that's just how it is. I have no excuses. Ooh, that hurt a little bit. That hurt a little bit. Now, of course, SSBE is mad tanky, so he took that better than like most units in this game would. But that was still a little bit dangerous. I gotta say. That, that was just the, the tiniest bit, bit uh, uh, scary. Right there. Um, Now we got Super Saiyan 4s. We probably can finish off Gotenks. But if we don't. um, I would be concerned about Super Saiyan 4 Goku's defense. Let me think. We still have five items remaining so why don't we just pop a princess snake just to be safe and yeah we should be good to go this turn okay there we go so 5.5 mil for vegeta not much damage unfortunately without the crit of course the normal crits and super saiyan 4 goku should be getting a crit here he's due for a nice, you know what? I'll take the additional. I'll take the additional. And there we go. There we go. Moving on to the final fight, guys. We got, looks like, oh yeah, okay. We got the Goku Jr. and the Vegeta Jr. Um, definitely gonna pop a Whis immediately and then we should be good. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna go for Vegeta. 
then we will yeah let's target one guy at a time let's just go all in on him try to take him out and then we'll only have one guy's attacks oh my god bro come on you gotta dodge that you gotta dodge that it wasn't bad that was actually very impressive tanking but nonetheless gotta dodge that man okay so we got the additional we haven't had a triple super turn yet so i'm hoping this is the one let's go okay that's uh, two two is okay two is okay yo either i'm getting really unlucky or these kids have the ability to um never mind i was gonna say do they cancel dodge because it's kind of amazing that we took two super attacks back to back with a 70% chance to dodge, right? So they clearly don't cancel dodge. They clearly can, uh, or, or UI Goku rather, clearly can dodge their supers. He just chose not to. He just chose not to. So my phone is going off right now. I don't know what's going on. I'll worry about it later. We gotta, we gotta beat this first gotta beat this first but um yeah i can't believe he didn't dodge a single one of those supers but it's fine we survived let's pop versus a snake now for the double damage reduction and i think vegeta will be fine we probably won't get super this turn now probably um it's not 100 percent it's not guaranteed so as always i am slightly worried but i think it'll be fine either way you know if we do get supered because uh, of the counter ability, right? So, uh, yeah, um, that wasn't too bad, guys. <laughs> that wasn't too bad. Now, once again, I started this video by saying, you know, this team is mad overpowered. Like, this team is super, super overpowered. It's not really even fair that we're allowed to bring a team like this onto the stage. But since it was an available option, I was gonna go for it, right? I wasn't gonna not bring my best available team, so and there it is, pure Saiyans done. Um, I did pop a couple of items just because I like to play it safe. I don't like to just randomly die in the middle of showcases or in the middle of at least my first run because I like to beat these stages if possible in my first attempt and we did just that today, but uh, I definitely could have scaled back the items a bit and maybe only use like two or three and uh, been just fine. Pure Saiyans is clearly one of the most powerful, overpowered categories in the entire game. That is still true to this day, especially after the STR Super Vegeta comes out. I can't wait for that. But uh, there you have it, guys. Seven stages down, three more to go. We got Future Saga coming probably later today. And then we also have uh, Full Power and androids so we'll get those done within the next two or three days and then we'll have our uh Bulma and goku extreme z awakening as well which uh, i'll do a showcase for coming up later this week but that's gonna do it for today's video guys thank you so much for watching hope you guys enjoyed it as always if you liked the video then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel you'll like what you see then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and while you're at it hit that notification bell too so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and that's it i'm out of here until next time have an awesome awesome day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut media signing out